and welcome to Marketing Solutions for Local Businesses, the podcast where you will discover all the latest and greatest digital marketing tools, tips, and strategies you will need to implement in order to stay ahead of your competition. If you are not getting the results you are looking for from your digital marketing efforts, this is the podcast for you. And now, here's the host of our show, the local business guy himself, Frank Deming. Hello, 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 everyone. This is Frank Deming, the local business guy, and welcome to another episode of Marketing Solutions for local businesses. Happy Wednesday. Happy hump day, everyone. I hope you guys are having a rockin', a rockin' week thus far. Today, I want to talk to you about something that I think needs to get looked at more frequently. Um, And the reason I say that is because I get a lot of questions about it. Uh, It's a buzzword that is been that has been thrown out there many times. But I want to answer the question that has been asked of me many, many, many times. Hence the reason I'm doing this episode today. Uh, And especially since it's the fourth quarter, (laughs) I think it's very important that you start setting this up now so you can start reaping the benefits in the first quarter of next year, 2023. So the question is, omni-channel marketing, is it really worth the effort? So before I answer that question, uh, I want to remind you guys one t- one more time that it is the fourth quarter. And in the fourth quarter, we offer a free marketing analysis for attorneys uh, on their on their current website uh, practices, on their uh, on their their uh, their presence on the Internet and a free marketing plan to help them catapult the uh, the next year and get off to a great start. Uh, we do that for free uh, in the fourth quarter of every year, uh, and this year is no different. So if you want to take advantage of that, reach out to us, 888-416-7752, or send us an email at info at, an, at lbmsloc.com, and someone will contact you and schedule a time for us to get together and we can do a free analysis and free marketing plan. Um, last but not least, before we get to the content, I also want to uh, uh, ask you guys to do me a favor. Do me a solid. If you would be able, if you would to be so kind to share this podcast share this episode share the podcast whatever that that that, that, however means that you want to share it to someone that you think who's an attorney by the way who you think can benefit from the strategies that we uh that that we talk about on this podcast you think it will help their law firm I ask you that you share it. The only way I can grow, I'm just trying to grow my listeners. The only way I can grow my listeners is if you guys help me. So if uh, that would be, I would be uh, very grateful if you can do that. All right. So let's let's go on to omni-channel marketing. Is it worth it? Worth it? So research says that it really is worth it. Okay. And I've done the research and I, I, I'm, I'm, I don't want to give you my opinion on this. So I, that's why I wanted to start this off by saying that research says that it's worth it. Here's the deal. 80% of consumers, they actually state that much uh, that, that, that they much prefer omnichannel marketing strategies. Okay. They much prefer it. And the reason is that it all boils down to the seamless communication experience that comes with omnichannel marketing. Now, when when businesses actually say utilize an omnichannel marketing strategy, um, and and they and you know it actually puts them in a better position to be uh, to be in front of more of their audience more often than their competitor. Okay, that is an unknown fact. Now, remember the study. We talk about the study a lot. I don't. It bears repeating because it's it's important for you to understand this. 
It takes an average of 15 to 18 touches before someone makes a decision on whether or not they're going to pick up the phone and call you or fill out that form on your website to contact you for, you know, for a consultation or whatever your the, 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 the practice that your law firm actually uh, goes out and, and does. Um, you know, I don't know about that process. Everyone's process is different, but it, it takes... 15 to 18 touches so the the trick is you want to get to those 15 to 18 touches as fast as possible well definitely quicker than your competitors that's the deal okay so the only way to do that uh to to to, to speed that up is to implement a omni marketing uh strategy okay um so now but when you do that uh, when you do omni marketing, see, just saying omni marketing is not enough. Okay, so Joe, you have to understand one thing: when you do omni marketing uh, strategies, you have to be able to connect with your audience. Okay, and the way you do that is that you you uh offer say some personalized messaging what do i mean by personalized mes- messaging personalized mes- messaging is if you've done your research uh, in terms of what your audience is typing what your audience is looking for what is the biggest pain points for your audience etc 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 you can easily provide them with personalized messaging Per, meaning what's personal to them, not personal to you, but what's personal to them because you you notice that that question is coming up a lot, a lot on the internet. And if you do your homework, you do your research, you know, you will know what that is. So personalized messaging is very key uh, when you're, when you're doing omni mean, channel marketing, you know, because you, again, it takes 15, 18 touches, but the more personal the messaging is, those touches go down quite significantly, okay? Uh, at least that's what I found in my research. And I've also found that I, when I personally implement this for my clients. Another way to connect is convenience. Here are the, here's the deal. Consumers, uh, buyers, well, you know, clients, whatever you want to call them, consumers are able to shop. And yes, they're shopping and get notifications through their favorite channels, okay? And that's what, this is what I mean by convenience. So what, if, if you do your research, you know where their favorite channels are. So you got to be there. Make it convenient for them to find you. That's why omni-channel marketing is so important. You don't want to be in just one platform. You want to make it convenient, and that creates a huge connection. We're talking about connection here. The key ingredient to omnichannel marketing is connection. How do you build that connection? Okay, so convenience is personalized messages in one. Convenience is another. Another the way to build con- uh, uh, a connection is it, it, it actually saves the consumer time, you know, because in, instead of bouncing around from channel to channel, uh, meaning marketing channels, that is, they get all their questions answered in one felt swoop because you did your research, you personalize your messaging, and bam, here's the question. Again, you want to narrow that 15 to 18 touches down as quick as you, either you want to get to them faster than your competitor or you want to be able to narrow it down. And personalizing the message and being convenient to them narrows it down significantly. Okay. Another way to connect with your audience with omnichannel marketing is you want to build brand loyalty. B- building brand loyalty is 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 um is is it's a is 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 outstanding. Okay. So people say, okay, well, how do you do that? Right. Here's how you do it. You build brand loyalty by optimizing your customer engagement. Um, be a part of their world. Have them be a part of your world. And that is going to create a, a, a natural bond 
without you even meeting them. And it's a very powerful marketing trick that you can do. Uh, you know, maybe I used the wrong word. It's not a trick. It's a strategy. Okay. Uh, you know, trick sounds, sounds, sounds quirky. I don't want to sound quirky. It's a strategy. So you want to build a customer engagement through your messaging. And that's the whole point of personalized messaging. So that really, um, that that's really all, all I have for you today. Um, uh, I, I hope it makes sense. If you're still a little confused by it, just hang out, go to my website, LBMS, LLC.com. Um, and, and, and just, uh, hit the less chat, uh, menu item on the website. I mean, not less chat, less talk, let's talk a menu item on the website and, and, and see if, if, if we can be a little bit more clear. It's hard for me because this is a, you know, you know, one to many type of uh, a platform that I'm, I'm, I'm the one speaking and I'm not getting any feedback. But if you have any questions about this strategy, which, by the way, is very powerful, please reach out. So my my the answer to the question that I asked myself and how I let, uh, let off this uh, episode is omnichannel marketing worth it. I say it's a heck yes. And by uh, by actually implementing some of the strategies that I'm talking about here, you will definitely see it as well. So with that, I'm going to put an end to this episode. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, please share it with others, like I said earlier. Uh, and so until next week, this has been Frank Deming, the local business guy. Take care, folks. Until next week. And bye for now. Peace out. Thanks for listening to another episode of Marketing Solutions for Local Businesses, the podcast where you will discover all the latest and greatest digital marketing tools, tips, and strategies you will need to implement in order to stay ahead of your competition. Don't forget, any links that were mentioned during the broadcast will be available to you in the show notes, so be sure to grab them while you have the chance. Incidentally, if you have any topics that you would like for us to discuss on the show, be sure to send an email to the email provided in the show notes or click the contact us link and let us know what topic you would like us to help you with and we'll be sure to add it to our schedule. If you would like for Frank and his team to look at your digital marketing presence and give you a free evaluation, simply click the request a free consultation link in the show notes to get a hold of them. That being said, until our next episode, make it a successful digital marketing day. Peace out.